Good evening, everyone. It is I, the mayor, and we are back with another episode playthrough of Beacon Pine. Uh, tonight, we're starting chapter six. I don't really remember what all happened in the previous chapters. I just know that people ended up missing and we've had to go back in time a few times, go back in time a few times. But that's OK, because we're going to play through and we're going to see what happens next. How was that for your intro? Was that a was that a good that a good okay fantastic I'm glad you like it. All right. Through thick and thin. All right, let me know if the volume needs to go up or down, y'all. Despite Luca's bitterness, Gran was right. He needed to hash things out with Lolo. A big fight changes the nature of a friendship. Whether in the end it is for the better or for the worse, all comes down to understanding. Don't forget. If one is not careful, the same familiarity that builds the strongest of bonds can become the wrecking ball that shatters them. If I'm in the way, y'all can move me. Luca emerged from seclusion, taking in the crisp festival air through thick and thin. All right, let me know if the volume needs to go up or down, y'all. Despite Luca's bitterness, Gran was right. He needed to hash things out with Lolo. A big fight changes the nature of a friendship. Whether, in the end, it is for the better or for the worse, all comes down to understanding. Don't forget. If one is not careful, the same familiarity that builds the strongest of bonds can become the wrecking ball that shatters them. If I'm in the way, y'all can move me. Luca emerged from seclusion, taking in the crisp festival air. Oh, that's right. Luca and Rollo got into that big fight where words that shouldn't have been uttered were uttered and then feelings were hurt. I remember that totally, that totes happened. But um, hopefully they're feeling better now. You know, hopefully they're uh, working through whatever it is that they got going on in their life. As if the day weren't on his mind, he had to find Rollo. He was my best friend. Sorry, shout out to Wingstop. That ain't, that's not where Rollo lives. Rollo's this way. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's right, the, the cool pose. How long is he? Okay. There you are, Luca. Rolla wanted me to tell you something. What is it? Roxy rolled her eyes, shaking her head. <sighs> A space adventure, though you needn't buy it. If ye be brave, go somewhere quiet. Uh, Roxy, I don't... It's a riddle, Luca. My goofy little brother wants you to find him. Luca looked down and kicked at the dirt. Look, I know you two had a fight. The only thing more annoying than my little brother is my little brother without his best friend. So I'm doing him this one favor. Now, I need one favor from you. Whatever it is that went down between you two, squash it. A space adventure, though you needn't buy it. If ye be brave, go somewhere quiet. This is probably the library. It's the library up on that second floor. I bet ya. I bet you it's the library. Last night's episode of The Last of Us was a very strong episode. If you haven't seen it yet, go see it. We're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna spoil it for you. But just know that it was something powerful. All right. A most welcoming of welcomes. I'll sing two in the thanks. <clears throat> Would you like to share your thoughts? We always strive to improve. Nope. All right, we gotta find the library. Nope. Oh wait, let me talk to the Miss Lizard lady here. The croc lady. Nope, she ain't got no words for us. That's fine. 
that's not where that is. Why are the library always in the last place? Oh, wait, who are you? I was able to return the perennial harvest safe suit you borrowed. I don't think anyone noticed. Good. Now, will you tell me what you needed it for? It was a favor for an enemy of my enemy. All right. It was a favor for an enemy of my enemy. This isn't going to harm Mr. Kerr, is it? All you need to know is that it's for the good of the family. Hey, a lot of sneaky shit happening around this town. Hey, the library. The library. Somewhere quiet. Hey, Aluka. I've been expecting you. Bravo on deciphering the first riddle. The first. Oh, you didn't think that was all, did you? Rollo does go all out, doesn't he? Straightened up and cleared his throat as if preparing to sing. Ahem. On planet Farpool, you may take issue. When the fifth king dies, you'll need a tissue. Kato stared at Luca eagerly. Get it? Want me to tell you? No, it's okay. Let me figure it out. All right, when you find it, bring it here to be verified. And if you decide you want a hint, the offer still stands. So I'm assuming I need the fifth issue of whatever uh, comic book is out here in these streets. Luca grabbed the Adventures of Hank Atomic issue number five from the shelf. Huzzah! Once you've got a book, you can either bring it here to me or just grab a different one. Well, let me see what the other one is. Luca grabbed the Adventures of Hank Atomic issue number four from the shelf. Yeah, no, it's definitely the fifth Luca one. Luca grabbed the Adventures of Hank Atomic issue number five from the shelf. Rollo indeed does too much, but I mean, I suppose that's who he is. Ah, you found it! Rollo removed his book from the desk and replaced it with Luca's, turning on the lamp. As he slid the book under the purple light, two words glowed. Why does he have access to black light and the ink for it? The Adventures of Hank Atomic, issue five. Luca clicked his tongue with recognition. Oh, okay. It's just the it's the comic book itself. Ooh. No, I'm not going crazy. Rollo cipher pen. He used to write secret messages everywhere with that. Only I had the special flashlight needed to reveal it. But I lost it. Well, apparently he traded Jeff for this purple light bulb. Parted with his entire Halloween candy stash. That's something great. All right, let's see here. Kato began flipping through the pages, stopping when he heard the glowing words. Get away with such a grift. He continued flipping. Only found in grub cart. Reaching the end of the book, Kato looked up. That's it. Grift in. Grub cart? Griffin. Griffin? Griffin's grub cart! He wants me to go to Griffin's snack stand. Ah! Brilliant! I guess you're off then. Good luck on the rest of the scavenger hunt! Thanks, Kato. This is so adorable. Best friends sending each other on scavenger hunts and shit. That's adorable. That shack is this way. Hey, Griffin. Did Rollo come? Before Luca could finish his sentence, Griffin handed him a corn dog. Oh, that's it? 
bought and paid for. Enjoy! I thought there was supposed to be a riddle or something. There's probably like some metal or some paper, something gross in it. Ugh, ugh. It's cold! Oh yeah, that's been sitting there for a while. Rallo wanted me to be sure to give you that one specifically. Well, that's just... The tongue at his cheeks, feeling something rough between his teeth. Ah! ...into his mouth and pulled out a slip of paper. Oh, come on! He took off the bits of corn dog to read the slip. A pickup when you need some pep. Near the fountain, up the step. Luca finished off the remainder of the corn dog. Oh, this is getting to be a whole... Thing. All right, I think there's like a coffee shop by the fountain. Yep, there it is. Coffee shop. Uh, I'm assuming I go up these steps. All right. Okay, not those steps. I guess the steps behind. I would take my butt home. Yeah, I feel you, Quirky. Because at some point, like I don't know what's the what's the appropriate length or the number of clues for a scavenger hunt where you just like, you know, I guess this. I don't need it that much. Friendship is overrated. Like, where, where's where's the point? Where is that point? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Not friendship is. I'm just saying, quirky. I just I just need to know where where is the point where you like you know what we was that good of friends and hey, I mean we was already on the outs. You know why? Uh, There you are, Luca. There's no way I'm actually doing this. It's way below my pay grade. Oh, come on, you big sniff. Talking about it. Oh my gosh, Quirky, right? Like he really out here called this. Mm. Talked about his daddy, talked about his mama. You know, them's his fighting words. Them's his fighting words. Folks gotta fight for that. Let the kids have some fun. Fine. But Rollo owes me one his hands around sarcastically as he began what takes flight but has no wings your final task a friendship brings see that wasn't so hard hey yo that's this is the okay hey uh, hey uh, I feel cheapened somehow I think it's sweet. What takes flight but has no wig? Something, something, something. What the hell flies but doesn't have wings? Um, news? Oh, balloons! Balloons fly. That. I'm glad he was standing right there because I'd have been stuck. Hey, hey. Did you find the comic book? Yep. And you got the corn dog? Yeah. Well then. I know it doesn't make up for what I said, but here, you've earned this. Rolo sheepishly handed Luca the balloons. Aww. A light! Thanks. You didn't have to go to all this trouble. I'm sorry I got so mad. Dang it, you were supposed to let me apologize first. Oh, sorry. Now you've apologized twice before me. Just, just let me do this. Luca, I'm really sorry. With everything that's happened with your mom and all, I've always wanted to be there for you. Be a good friend, you know? When you said you were hanging out with someone else, I kind of freaked out. Rollo, still my turn. <clears throat> I felt like if you needed some new friend to help you, it meant that I wasn't good enough. But that was selfish and wrong. I was wrong. I'm so sorry, Luca. <laughs> okay, apology over. You can talk now. Luca threw himself at Rollo, hugging him as tightly as he could.
good. Oh, besties. Rollo, I, I don't deserve you. I don't deserve you either. That's why we deserve each other. So, what else do you want to do today? We could snoop around and try to find some info about your mom. Snoop where? We could probably sneak into Perennial Harvest HQ while everyone's at the festival. Aren't you curious about all the stuff those clipboards write down? What, what if we get caught? I think I've had enough excitement for one week. Let's just make the rest of the day about us. Really? Yeah, the rest of the world can wait one more day. In typical video game protagonist fashion, folks is out here dying, world's about to end, but you wanna go fishing. You got some more bugs to collect. You got a treasure chest to open. Meanwhile, calamity. Okay, you, you, you got it. You got it, Luca. I have been wanting to get some work done on the MCDC at Mission Control. The aim is a bit unpredictable. That sounds perfect. So we just we just gonna go to the treehouse? <laughs> just forget everything else going on and just do treehouse stuff. Oh, I almost forgot. I ran into your grand this morning. She asked me to give you this. I'll wait for you inside if you want to read it now. A letter? Luca, some things are going to happen that might be difficult for you to understand. Uh oh. If I'm honest, I hardly understand them myself. This don't sound good. But whatever happens, I need you to know that I love you. That kind of sounds like some horrible things are about to happen. Like, almost like a coup. Or people about to get, like, imprisoned or something. None of this is fair to you. You have already lost so much. Hello? We both have. I wish there was a simpler way forward. But if there is, I haven't thought of it. God knows I tried. Mm. Everything I've done. I did for you. I don't want to hear that, Gran. I wanted you. I hope someday you can accept that. Love, Gran. Oh, boy. I love you too, Gran. Luca folded the paper into his pocket and had it up the ladder. What's up with the letter? Anything you want to talk about? Maybe later. Sure. Whenever you want. They all purple. <laughs> you know... You really didn't have to go to all that trouble just to apologize. I know, but we'd been looking forward to the festival for weeks. After I ruined everything with my big mouth, this was the best way to make sure you still had a good time without me. Rollo. Look at these best friends. But that was fine. Words aren't always necessary. The festival seemed nice. Was it nice? We can still go. Nah, this is fine. Well, there's always next year. Sadly, this was untrue. Why was it untrue? A distant rumble shook the treehouse. Huh? What was that? Aw, oh, man, we missed the fireworks? It was not fireworks. Well, damn! It was something the boys couldn't possibly comprehend. Something as old and cruel as time itself. Hello? Mama, no! A shockwave of cold tore through the room. A bitter, unfathomable chill. What? Before they could react, it encased them in ice. Two boys, reunited by friendship, only to be cruelly separated by malevolence beyond reason. I... And so, our story ends on this melancholy scene. 
I'm assuming we're gonna go back in time and fix this, but. This silent treehouse turned statuary. In a town brought low by its secrets, sits a pair of friends alone together. What did you miss, Quirky? I don't know. Like, they was just sitting there being all besties, and then all of a sudden, you know, it went Dr. Stone, but, you know, frosty. For the rest of time, the end. No, that can't be the end, Amy. It simply can't. I agree. Y'all have me. I won't accept it. And I hope you won't either. I won't accept it. There are more endings. More possibilities. I can feel it. Yes. I don't remember to press we this. We're just going to have to sort through them all until we find the one that fits. 